Hi, I'm Alan Camacho for At Home with our line of pastry lines from the Philippines. Welcome to my kitchen. So today, we'll be making baked serpent turf rice. So here are my ingredients. Let's start cooking. So for the meat, you can use any type of meat. You can use beef, pork, chicken. Uh, you can also use different cuts of beef. You can use uh, rib eye, tenderloin, sirloin. Okay? Just as long as the meat is tender. Okay? For the seafood, you can use any type of seafood. Either uh, shrimp, uh, prawns, lobster, scallops, crab, whatever you have in your freezer. Uh, and uh, just make sure uh, if, the, if you use prawns, you cut it into smaller pieces. To make it, uh, this to make the size even with the meat. Okay, so for the beef, so I'm using rib eye, so I'll season it with salt and pepper. Then mix that. Let that marinate for a few minutes, so that the flavors will go inside the meat next for the shrimp so again season with salt so my shrimp has been peeled and deveined and then cut into smaller pieces so again salt pepper and then a small amount a pinch of paprika just to give it a nice color and nice aroma and liquid seasoning okay again mix that let that marinate for a few minutes so first uh we'll add our butter to a preheated pan so melt your butter and then we'll cook our beef so when we cook our meat, make sure you just cook your meat to the almost done. So wag siya masyadong lutong-luto kasi uh, ihahalo pa natin sa sauce mamaya. So magsisimmer pa siya for a little bit and then i-oven pa natin siya. So when the beef has cooked, so remove it from the pan. So I'll put it in a separate bowl first. And then I'll add some more butter. Again, another cube of butter. Let that melt. So let that heat up again. And next we'll saute our shrimp. Our broths. And then to this, I'll add a small amount of garlic. And again, continue to saute it until the shrimps are half cooked.
Okay, so again, I'll transfer the shrimp to my bowl with the beef. So, okay lang na magsama-sama na sila kasi mamaya ihahalo-halo natin lahat sila sa sauce. Okay. Then next, I'll add another cube of butter. So now, I'll saute my vegetables. So for the vegetables, yung carrots, pre-blanched na. So it means na boil ko na siya for a short while. And then yung corn, I'm using canned corn. So you can use uh, corn, kung meron kayong fresh corn, you just uh, remove it from the cup and then uh, blanch it with the carrots or kung na steam na siya or na roast na siya, pwede nyo na idiretso. So for the vegetables, you can also add other vegetables like uh, broccoli, string beans, uh, French beans, baguio beans. So just make sure na yung ibang vegetables naka pre blanch And then make sure na halos same yung cut nila para sabay-sabay sila naluluto. So, if you'll notice yung vegetables ko, uh, hindi ko muna siya isi-season ng salt and pepper kasi magsi-season naman ako mamaya pag gumagawa na tayo ng sauce. So, just let this cook for a while to bring out the natural sweetness of the corn and the carrots. So again, so after sauteing your vegetables, I'll transfer them to the same bowl with the beef and the shrimp. So I'll set this aside. And then, I'll heat up the same pan. So if you'll notice, uh, hindi ako nagpapalit ng pan. Because I want all the flavor na dumidikit dun sa ilalim from the beef, from the shrimp, from the vegetables. I want all of that to go into my sauce, to give my sauce a lot of flavor. So again, I'll add my final cube of butter. So now, I'll saute my minced onion. So we're getting ready for the sauce. My minced garlic. So I'll saute this until maging soft and translucent yung onion tsaka yung garlic. So that just means na lumalabas na yung flavor nila. So yan, kung mapapansin nyo, may mga brown bits sa ilalim ng pan. Lahat yan mamaya kung nagdeglaze tayo, matatanggal. And then, mapupunta yan sa sauce natin, which is a lot of flavor. So now, medyo soft na yung onion ko and yung garlic. So I'll deglaze my pan with white wine. 
So, bakit white wine? Bakit hindi red wine? Because I want my sauce to be color white. Kahit na may beef yung uh, dish natin. I still want my sauce to be white. So, make sure you scrape the bottom. Yan, kung mapapansin nyo, natatanggal na yung mga brown bits sa ilalim. And, napupunta na siya sa sauce natin. So, I will mix this. I will let this simmer for a few minutes para mag-evaporate yung alcohol. Kasi gusto lang natin dun sa wine is the flavor, not the alcohol. Yan. So, pag nag-reduce na siya to about half, which is like that, so konti na lang yung liquid, I can now add my Arla full cream milk. So, mix that together. And then, my cream, which is your Arla Whip and Cook. So, itong Arla Whip and Cook, I love using this kasi uh, it's very versatile. I can use it for cooking, I can use it for baking, and ang maganda sa kanya, lalo na kapag ginagamit natin siya sa cooking, kahit na i-boil natin siya ng matagal, hindi siya nagka-curdle. So, it stays the same. So, same yung texture, it stays creamy. Which is uh, what we want, especially kapag gumagawa tayo ng sauce, like mga carbonara, mga cream sauce, white sauce, uh, soups, corn soup, potato soup, potato cream soup. So gusto natin yun kasi parating creamy yung soup natin. Hindi natin nakikita na nagbubuo-buo siya. Ayan. So, nagsisimmer na siya. So, pag nag-start na siya mag-simmer, ilo-lower ko yung heat to low heat para hindi ma-overcook yung meats natin. So, now, I'll add my uh, vegetables, beef, and prawns back inside. Everything along with their uh, juice or yung drippings nila. Kasi lahat yan magbibigay ng good flavor sa sauce natin. So now I'll season this with salt and pepper and paprika and liquid seasoning. Again, salt, pepper. Paprika to add some smokiness and some color to our sauce. And liquid seasoning. Okay? And then, taste it before adding it to the rice. So, ito, uh, kapag ginawa natin to, okay lang na medyo ma-over-season siya ng konti kasi tatandaan natin yung rice natin, walang lasa. But, also, since we will uh, put cheese sa taas, and ang cheese, especially yung uh, pamelano, and yung gouda, both sila is uh, may salt, may, may salt content. So, we need to also balance that. So, balance yung salt na ma-flavor yung rice and yung salt na magdadagdag pa tayo ng cheese na may salt na. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble. So, I have here two cups of rice. I placed it in an uh, oven-proof dish. So, pwedeng glass or... Uh, metal, basta make sure na pwede siya sa loob ng oven. Okay? So, i-assemble natin siya. So, I'll place my 
meats and my vegetables on top of the rice. So, let's spread natin siya. So, this dish would serve about two. Depende kung gano'n kayo kalakas kumain. Pwedeng one. Okay, but normally this would serve two. And then yung sauce gusto natin, ipopour natin siya sa on top. So mamaya pag binik natin yan sa oven, ma-absorb yan ng rice. And it will make our rice very flavorful. Okay. Okay, and then last. We'll top this with cheese and then bake inside the oven. So, yung cheese, hinalo ko na yung tatlong cheese ko. Yung mozzarella, gouda, and the uh, pamelano. Pupunoyin natin siya ng cheese para maganda. At pa, syempre, para masarap. Dahil Arla cheese itong ginagamit natin. And then, we'll just place this in the preheated oven at uh, about 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, let this cook for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the top has, or the cheese has melted and turned golden brown. So this is our final product. Thank you for watching At Home with Arlan, the Pastry Alliance of the Philippines. Again, I'm Alan Camacho. Stay tuned for more videos. Happy cooking!